Did you know that you could make your own chalkboard paint and it's a really simple recipe and it only has two ingredients? I'm gonna show you today how you can make it. And if you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. And we got lots of work, so let's get right at it. Today we're going to be making chalkboard paint and it's a simple, easy recipe. You only need two ingredients. You're going to need some black latex paint and either a flat or a satin finish and some plaster of Paris. I've got one cup of that black latex paint in a glass jar and I'm adding two heaping tablespoons of plaster of Paris. You can then use a stir stick or the back of a spoon and incorporate that plaster of Paris really well into that black latex paint. I find to get the best results you have to use a latex paint and you want to stir it really well together and making sure that there's no lumps and it's a nice creamy consistency. This recipe is perfect for any thrifted or upcycled projects that you have that you want to turn into a chalkboard. Once you have it mixed really well, you're gonna keep it in an airtight sealed container and it'll last for a few weeks. And as you can see, this is a simple, easy recipe for you to make your own chalkboard paint. When painting with your homemade chalkboard paint, I find that it takes three or four coats, letting it completely dry in between each coat. And then when it's completely dry, you wanna season your chalkboard. Just take a piece of chalk and rub it all over top of that chalkboard paint and then wipe it off and then you're ready to write on your project. If you don't season your chalkboard, when you go to write on it and wipe it off, you'll still see the letters underneath. So this is an important step. If you want to learn how to make more homemade paint recipes, I have a booklet listed in my Etsy store that's right full of some of my favorite paint recipes that you can use on all of your DIY projects. I'll put the link down below in the description and you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these next two.